Out with the old, in with the new. A long anticipated study calls for the demolishing of Pimlico race course in Baltimore. The WJZ drone was over historic old hilltop today. The catch with the new plan a $424 million price tag and controversy over who foots the bill. The Preakness has been a staple of Baltimore for more than 100 years. But with a race course that's even older, its future at Pimlico remains up in the air. If like I don't have the Preakness to look forward to, ah, I, it wouldn't be no, too much more reason for me to stay around here. A new study by the Maryland Stadium Authority calls for the demolishing of the race course and a rebuild with a $424 million price tag, while also adding several year-round non-racing uses for the site in the Park Heights area. That would be a nice thing because that will help uplift the community. The report says not addressing the current condition of the course poses a threat to the continued success of Preakness, which has flirted with the idea of moving to Laurel, something those in the Park Heights neighborhood... It's just part of life up here. It's part of life. This is what we look for every year. Don't want to fathom. If, if this goes, this Park Heights is done. It's done. The Stronage Group, which owns Pimlico and Laurel Park, says they were happy with the report. While the mayor said the proposal will help transform the neighborhood, create thousands of jobs, and result in more than $800 million in public and private investments. In Pimlico Racetrack right now, a lot of people that residents, natives of Baltimore, are depending on something good coming out of that. But the controversial question remains, who's going to pay for it? I understand this too, that it's a hard decision to decide what to do with it because uh, it takes money. It takes money and then the whole community is going to change. 